And we have some news. Unfortunately, we learned today that the, the WBO champion, Solani Tete, he had to pull out of the Bannerweight semifinal against Nonito Donaire due to a shoulder injury, which he won't be able to recover from before Saturday's fight. The semifinal is still on. Due to WBSS rules, we have reserve fighters, and the reserve fighter is Stephon Young of St. Louis, who is the WBA number five contender. We will make a further announcement within the next 24 hours, and uh, yeah, follow our um, official channels for the news. So let me introduce everyone at the top table. We have Solani Tete, the last born, WBO world champion. We have Nonito, the Filipino Flash, the Nair, a four division champion and the current WBC diamond champion and WBA super world champion. We have Kirill Relic, the WBA world champion and Regis Rugaru Pro Grey, the WBC diamond champion and number one 140 pound fighter in the world. All right, let me start with you Solani. Tell us what happened and uh, how you're feeling right now. Uh, firstly, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Uh, it is very sad uh, and disappointing for myself and my team mm -hmm. that we had to pull out on the fight for Saturday. Uh, we respect the champion. We were looking forward to the fight, but unfortunately, I could see my injury is not giving me any chance. And to fight such an opponent as credible as no need to do me, we need to be 100%. That's why we felt, you know, that we can't force it. I've been trying my best, you know, since yesterday to try and recover from the injury. But we couldn't. I just want to thank the promoter for giving me this chance and be here in Lafayette and try and fight on the White Boxing Super Series and unify the division. It has always been my dream, and I so wish they would give us another day to enjoy the fight. Thank you. Thanks, Solani. Um, and thanks for your contribution to, to the tournament, and uh, good luck in your recovery. Let's let's move on to you, Nonito. It's, it's a late notice. You're, you're getting a new opponent. What are your feelings right now? Things happen in life that you just don't expect. You just gotta be ready for it. You know, we've trained so much, uh, so hard, and we, we're very confident in this fight. Just mentally, physically prepared. And therefore, Saturday, whoever it may be, I'm always gonna be ready. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Nonito. Um, yeah. Let's move on to Saturday's Super Lightweight semifinal. We have a sensational semifinal in the Super Lightweight division with New Orleans native Regis Brogre versus Kirill Relic of Belarus. Kirill, uh, how are you looking forward to Saturday's semifinal? Oh, it's a knock. I'm not sure how I'm happy to be here in this city and I'm happy to participate in this tournament. I'm happy that uh, my opponent come here, not injured, and uh, I'm happy that fight will happen. Thank you. All right, you, you, you've said that you're a, a smarter fighter than uh, pro grade, can, can you elaborate on that? I don't know if I'm going to be in the so I don't know if I'm going to be in the same way. I don't know if I'm going to be in the same way. I never say before what will be, so everybody see everything in the ring. Thanks, Kirill. And, and lastly, could you tell us what would it feel like to go all the way and win the Muhammad Ali Trophy? Oh, I'm always happy to be here. I'm always happy to be here. I'm 
по миру, то есть постоянно мы будем за границей на территории соперника, так что, в принципе, я привык к этому. I'm happy to travel around the world, especially now with uh, Ali Trophy, Ali uh, uh, Cup. And uh, I, all, all my life I'm traveling, I'm all time fighting abroad. So it's nice to be here and see you. Thanks, Kirill. Let's hear from uh, Regis Progre. How excited are you about Saturday's fight and uh, what can the fans expect from you? Yeah. Um, well, of course, you know, I'm very excited to be here. Um, this is, you know, it's, a, it's definitely a, a dream come true for me. I'm glad to be in Lafayette. Um, of course, it's, it's my home state, Louisiana. So, you know, right now, I'm, I'm, of course, everybody know I'm from New Orleans. I live in Houston, so this is like halfway. So. Um, I think it should be a, a it's a great event, a, a real big show, and I just can't wait to fight. You know, I just I can't wait to go in there and, and get it on. And um, this is my first opportunity to fight for the, the official um, world, you know, like championship of the world. So I'm just, you know, I'm I'm just very very excited about everything, and you know, I just I can't wait, and I'm glad that you know um, everything happened, everything panned out like great with the um, with the whole you know World Boxing Super Series, and I just you know I can't wait to fight. Thanks, Regis, and uh, yeah, it was great yesterday to see you train the kids at the, the Cornerman Gym here in Lafayette. How important is it for you to inspire these kids as well as leaving a, a legacy in uh, boxing? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's always very important for me to inspire the kids because it's something I never had, you know, basically, you know, coming up in New Orleans, we didn't, we always looked up to, you know, like, of course, like, Um, athletes and you know entertainers and stuff but we never really got to touch them we never got to feel them you know so now I'm at this you know I'm at this stage now to where I can do that and I can give back to my community you know home state wherever that wherever it's at you know I, I did the same thing I was way in Brazil and I went to the kids and stuff so I just I love to go out there and you know inspire the kids because one day you know you might it might be you know 10 20 years down the line and then it might I, like I was I'll say I told them yesterday you know one of those kids You know, they might be the next president or some even bigger than the president. You never know. Somebody might, you know, discover other planets and stuff like that, you know. So um, I'm just, and then they're going to say, you know, hopefully they'll give my credit. They're going to say, Regis came to my boxing gym, Regis came to my school, and that's what inspired me, you know. So that's that's the main reason that I do it because I give them I give them the inspiration that, like, I never, you know, that I never had. I had to move to Houston to get, to touch, you know, to be able to see in, like, um, my inspiration, basically. Thanks, Regis. And what would it mean to you to go all the way and win the, the Muhammad Ali Trophy? Um, of course, everything. You know, to me, like um, I'm a big student in the game, and um, you know, Muhammad Ali was like a, a like a boxing god in my eyes. So, it, as far as winning the whole trophy, I just you know that's why I I participated in the tournament. That's the main reason I'm here. You know, because you know it, it is the and it's a it's a perfect format because it is the best people fighting the best. You know, you got. A lot of champions out there, and they get a belt, and they, you know, they just start to hide. You know, they tuck their tail. With this tournament, you can get a belt, but you you have to fight. You know, so it's it's higher risk, it's higher reward, and it's higher risk at the same time. So, um, I'm I'm glad I'm in a tournament. I you know fight the Ali Trophy. That's you know getting the belts is one thing, but getting the Ali Trophy is you know a whole other thing. So I'm just I'm glad that you know I'm you know I'm at the perfect spot at the right time. Thanks, Regis. Okay, let's open the floor for questions. Anyone? Benito, what percentage of your training would you say in recent months had anything to do with your opponent to where you have, you know, some things to go over? Well, we had, after the fight in November, we started training for, for Tete. And then they had scheduled for January, they had scheduled for March, and then April. So I've been training with every intent of dissecting Tete's um, style. So going in here, confidence is just overwhelming within me because um, I feel like I know every movement and everything that I had to do inside that ring. So in terms of preparation, I'm 100%.
here in the line. Did you just make this decision yesterday? You were here this morning. Did you know that you were feeling kind of hurt? And then how did how did it come? How did the decision come to pass? Uh, the decision was made this morning uh, after my training because I did my training just to try and see how it feels, you know. And then we decided now oh, it's painful, you know, especially when I'm trying to throw punches. And that's the name of the game. We need to throw punches. So that's when we decided you know, let's let's take the decision. We just in terms of the the conflicting styles between you and your opponent, how, how do you see like the difference and how's that matchup? Um, to be honest, I really don't really know too much about him. Um I seen him fight once and um and and when he fought the Mikey when he won his belt, I seen him fight. I know he's a come forward fighter. Um that's the main thing I know about him. Um, as far as conflicting styles, I feel like I can do everything. You know, um, I show different, I, I always show something different in every fight. So for me, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter. I always go out there and I do my thing and every time I'm going to change. Whatever I need to change up, I'll change it up. You know, so we'll, you know, I just can't wait to say it. Right? Regis, how is preparing in Lafayette been different than being at, being in New Orleans? Where you have probably a lot more people trying to get at you for yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, still home state, so I still got everybody hit me up for tickets and all that. Everybody the hell out of me right now, but it's cool. It, it just comes with the, you know, it comes with the territory. Um, but it's definitely way calm out here than being in New Orleans. Of course, in New Orleans, it was you know, it's, it's do this, do this, do this, do this. Um, but out here, it, it been it been real cool. It been real chill. Which is way more, of course, way more chill than in New Orleans. Um, but I'm a professional and I'm used to it. So even in New Orleans, I had to do all the interviews and media stuff and with the kids and all that stuff. I I handled all that stuff perfect. So you know, none of that stuff bothered me anyway, no matter what. Well, Mr. talk about your style versus Regis's. It's noticeable in the ring that you're a lot bigger than he is, a lot taller. How, how do you feel like that is to your advantage? I would not say that I am more than him. I would say that I am more than him. So, let's see how we can uh, I can't say that I'm bigger or better uh, than my style, something different. And uh, like I said before, you will see everything on the I don't want to speak about the fight before the fight. Thank you. He ain't bigger than me. What y'all talking about? He that bigger than me? Y'all think so? Let me see. <laughs> a little bit, 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 have you heard of your, your new opponent? Do you know any, have you heard of him or know anything about him? Um, I don't know anything about him. Um, from what I heard, uh, he's a softball as well. So we worked with softballs for numerous months. So we're ready. And it doesn't matter really. Truly, I'm, I'm prepared mentally, physically for any any um, obstacle that's right in front of me. And how often has this happened to you in your long career? Is this not, not a new thing? This is actually the first time. I mean, I've taken short notice. Uh, you know, in the beginning, a day notice, a week notice, where I was the stepping stone and I proved myself along the line. So, um, mentally, I'm on. This is actually the first time that I have to deal with something like this, and and things happen, and I, you know, I'm always going to be ready for for that matter. Oh, second time. Oh, was first one. Oh, that's right. Second time. There you go. Two times. Um, one of the guys came past the, um, the, 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 the medical test, 
And so they brought in some guys to, to uh, the second time. Thank you. <laughs> my kid, my kid, my kids has to remind me for that. You're, you're putting your title on one. I, I believe so. Um, how much so did you know? Did, did, did this change your mental app, app outlook or anything like that? Did, and, because that title has to be awfully precious to you. I mean, there's there's things that make you shake a little bit, you know, which is uncertainty, because you don't know what's going on. But with being a fighter, I mean, this is my 20th year as a professional fighter. So with everything that's going on, it's just one of those things where you shift your mind to be ready and to be prepared no matter what. I mean, this is an opportunity. I'm grateful for it. And it's nothing that, that will limit me from performing. You know, I, I believe that with my mindset fighting against Tete, anything beyond that, I'm still in that particular mindset to, to, to conquer. And that's, that's where I'm at, is to conquer whoever's inside that ring with me. Say, you ready for me? You ready? Oh. How cool is this Can't can't